What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Lionel Jinx. I am the creative director of the WW2K franchise. Hey, y'all. I'm Christina DM Pham, senior producer on WWE 2K22, and welcome to Ringside Report, episode three, brought to y'all by the teams at 2K and Visual Concepts. Now, if you've missed the first two episodes of the Ringside Report and gameplay and my GM, click the link below uh, this video to check it out. In the meantime, Fam and I are here to provide updates and deep dives into many areas and features of the WW2K game that we've been working on for so long, guys. You'll hear from both Lionel and myself on a regular basis through the game's launch on March 11th and then also afterwards, too, for the latest on DLC, patches, other game updates, and more. And once again, we're not doing this alone because we're bringing the homies from the dev team with us. So let's get right to it. Bring in the homies. All right, so in today's episode, we're covering two things. Showcase and My Rise, starting with Showcase. And by now, it's no secret to y'all that Rey Mysterio is both our cover and Showcase star. So we want to spend some time talking about Rey and Showcase and then some. So please join me in welcoming the man of these next few minutes, lead designer on Showcase mode, Dino Magino Zucconi. <laughs> What's up, everybody? So happy to be here. Let's talk some Showcase, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining us. All right, you know, so showcase mode itself is nothing new to the WWE 2K franchise, but for this cycle, there are some pretty cool specs to call out. I want you to talk about that, but then also let's start with a refresher for those who are less familiar. What is showcase mode in 2K22? You know, in the simplest form, showcase is where we pay homage to the rich history of sports entertainment. You know, whether it's the biggest matches, the most intense rivalries, the greatest superstars of all time, this is where we're gonna put you into those boots and you're gonna relive those moments. We do it with an objective guided gameplay system and the objectives kind of guide you through the match and we feed you into the cutscene where you're gonna get even more action in each match. Awesome, so if a player steps into these matches for the first time, they're gonna see Rey Mysterio, obviously, but what can they expect throughout the mode? So this year we did a lot of changes to a lot of our old tricks, basically. We updated the UI for the objectives so that instead of kind of this do this move, we have Rey Mysterio kind of coaching you through, telling you what to do next, how to beat this opponent, what you want to try to strategize with. We also updated the looks so that each menu kind of carries the color scheme of Rey Mysterio's entire for each match. So it changes with every single match. Like I mentioned, we have these full motion video cutscenes now, instead of just the gameplay data. So you're going to see full motion video now. We go into your cutscenes, um, relive the action as it unfolded. Um, Incredible fades done by the team, coming in, coming out. It's flawless. It's a flawless transition each and every time. We also have our rewards, like always. If you're winning the match, we're going to give you a couple unlockables. But if you go and complete all of the objectives, we're also going to give you a few more. And this was done just so we can make it that you're not getting stuck or hung up if you don't complete every single objective. And you can come back and try again to get everything on, a, on another play. Dino. You are hands down one of the biggest wrestling fans I know. Now, I know like what this meant to you because you had the very unique opportunity to work with the man himself, Rey Mysterio, uh, throughout this cycle. Can you talk about and, and share with the world what that experience was like for you? Yeah, I mean, first of all, this is a bucket list item that we worked with Rey Mysterio. Absolute legend. Uh, I've been following him myself since 1995. Uh, I've watched him since WCW, ECW days coming up to today. So, you know, we on the showcase team pushed really hard to make Rey Mysterio our guy. We wanted to do a showcase on Rey. We felt like he was, you know, the perfect dude. We get the attires, we get the, the gameplay, you know, he's, he's all action. It just seemed like the right pick. So getting to work with him was incredible. He was he was down to do anything we asked. We had him doing cutscene commentary. You know, he's, he's telling you what he's thinking during these matches. He's telling you what he's thinking when when Kane's attacking him, when Batista's coming after him. You know, he was he was all for it. He was remembering what was happening leading into these matches, had cool little stories. We gave him a really loose script so we could keep it as authentic as possible. And he did a great job filling in the gaps. For me, like, you know, being your homie, like I think one of my proudest moments was like after the, after you worked with him and then Ray he dropped into to one of our our team meetings. And he was like, Dino, what's up? And like, remembered you and started talking. I was like, oh, like I wanted to cry for you, man. Like, so I I'm happy for you, Dino. Yeah, it was it was absolutely great. He was so cool to work with, just so personable. Um, we had highs and lows during the shoot. You know, he's talking about uh, the Shawn Michaels match was the, the day after Eddie Guerrero passed. Got really heavy on that one. Then, you know, 
a few minutes later, he's talking about Don. You can just see that fatherhood pride gushing out. It was just, it was cool to see all the ends of the spectrum. Um, Portland Gray was just an unbelievable experience. And one thing it also mentioned to us too, was that you had asked him to suit up for the day of the shoot, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, we were trying to think of what they should wear from the videos. And I wanted to lean hard into the old Lucha Libre videos uh, from the 60s and the 70s. Just like out to dinner, on a date, they got the mask on, they're just dressed to the nines, and Ray came in and nailed that look. Um, he didn't quite get what we were doing, but he hit the look perfectly. When I explained it, like he was he was really happy that we were trying to honor Lucha Libre at the same time uh, as we're honoring him. I think he was really proud to kind of be the face of Lucha Libre for, this, for the mode in the game. Yeah, I think the thing that what you said that I resonate with the most when playing through showcases that it has a lot of heart, right? Like it just, there's just so much personality from Ray and, and the matches that that we, we chose or you chose with Ray, right? So like, uh, it, it just comes through and you know, I'm, I'm so proud of everything you put together. And thank you very much. Like I, I, I just think we got a really good list of matches here. We have, we have championship victories, we have big feuds, you know, we have Eddie Guerrero, Shawn Michaels, Batista, uh, Undertaker, we, we've, we've hit some good spots for Ray. I think we did a really good job covering it. Before we go though, what's your favorite match in showcase mode? Oh man, that's so tough. You know, I, I love them all the same, but a little bit equally, you know, they're kind of like my kids. Uh, I think for me, it's not, it's not exactly the biggest match. I kind of like our Dolph Ziggler match. I think it's really fast paced. Uh, it's fun to play. And uh, we definitely have an Eddie Guerrero matching it. I think everybody's really going to love. Awesome. Well, Dino, thank you so much for joining us today to talk about showcase mode. Thank you very much hey, for having Dino, me. Dino, my Gino, Zucconi. Everybody have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> he hits a different, right? It hits different, homie. Oh, yeah. All right, All right. bye, Dino. Take it easy. Up next, we've got some folks chiming in to give us the lowdown on My Rise, the story-based mode of WW2K where you make choices to rise to the peak of WWE superstardom. Here with us today, we have senior narrative designer, Andrea Listenberger, senior story designer, Chris Schroyer, and last but not least, story designer, Quatemo Marquez. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's nice We're to be here. excited to talk about My Rise. Oh, we oh. are too. Uh, there is so much we can get into with my rise but you all are providing us with the top 10 list breakdown of things players need to know take it away y'all yeah we are uh i'm gonna start with number one which is one that i am perhaps most excited about uh in my rise you can play in either wwe division uh that's right i'm talking about playing in the WWE Women's Division for the first time ever, we have a solo division uh, with our female superstars uh, with unique content that separates it from the men's division. And I'm not talking about superficial stuff. I'm talking about storylines as unique as the characters in each division themselves. Number two, you'll be playing across all three brands. You'll learn from the best at the WWE Performance Center. Define what kind of superstar you're gonna be. Where you start your career really depends on the choices you make and how well you do in the ring. You'll have a chance to live your WWE superstar fantasies on Raw, SmackDown, NXT, uh, and you'll even have the ability to switch between all three brands along the course of your rise. Quadimo, what's next? Speaking of living out your fantasies, um, whether or not you start off as a hero or a villain in WWE, you're always at the center of your story. Um, and if you always want to put a little bit of a twist on your own story, you can also switch sides. You can, you know, go bad or decide to choose different paths. Andrea, what about number four? In my rise, you can also choose between four different character backgrounds. Whether your character started off in MMA, like Ronda Rousey, the Indies, like Shotzi, maybe got a little football action in the pro athlete path like Roman Reigns or an actor like The Miz, you know, you get to decide your character's path. And that's really cool because each of those backgrounds has some unique story content and influences the path you take over the course of your WWE journey as a whole. Number five, we've had over 1,000 playable matches. That is 1,000, one, three zeros. Next is number six. 
Players can experience nine unique MyRise arenas that they can unlock and use in their own custom matches and gameplay. So uh, there are ones as, uh, such as the Japan Hall um, and Mexico City. What's your favorite? Mine is definitely Mexico City. It's beautifully rendered, it looks amazing, and I love that city. Just, you never know what's gonna happen there. Just, just saying, just saying, no, no spoilers. Number seven, MyRise has voice over from over 30 WWE superstars. And that includes WWE legends like Shawn Michaels, Beth Phoenix, Edge. Uh, and of course it always includes your favorites from today like Sasha Banks, Seth Rollins, the, the list goes on. Uh, I, I love the voiceover, especially from some of the more smarmy superstars because they definitely bring their own personalities to it. Uh, Sami Zayn's fun to listen to, Sonya Deville, less than a reliable narrator. And uh, Drew, Drew Gulak is a, a metric hoot and a half. So we got some good personalities uh, reflected in our game. All right, number eight. My Rise is gonna be packed with choices and decisions that are, are gonna inform your playthrough. And this is gonna include things like rivalries where you're gonna make different decisions from the next person who's playing it. And you're gonna have a totally unique, different experience just to yourself. So who you choose to go after, who you choose to spare, uh, that stuff matters. Next is number nine. Um, we really wanted every match to feel like a live event. So uh, we went about recording over 3000 voice lines with your favorites like Saxton, Corey Graves and Michael Cole. So they've got their own MyRise commentary just for you. Andrea, let's, uh, let's do the best for last. Oh, the best for last? The best for number 10? Yeah. Uh, I could do this because this, this fact pretty much speaks for itself. MyRise between the men's and women's division storylines has over 50 hours of gameplay time. Boom, mic drop. In the first part of the Ringside Report, we had Dino from Showcase on the show. Before he left, he had a question for you all about My Rise. Hey team, My Rise. As you know, I've been a little busy with Showcase, so I'm just a little curious. Like, what kind of choices do I get to make in uh, My Rise this year? Am I gonna be able to go from a good guy to a bad guy? Can I chase some championships? Maybe I get to join a faction or something? What's the deal? Let me know. Well, Dino, uh, I, I think the big thing about my rise is that, you know, if we had one guiding principle, it, it would be choice. Like you have agency this year to decide where you start. You have agency to decide if you're a protagonist or antagonist. You have agency even to decide the order in which you play these various storylines and challenges. So before we close out, y'all, you, the three of you have been spending so much time solely focused on my rise, but now that you're getting to spend time elsewhere, what other modes or areas of the game are you most excited to check out? And let's start with Quatemo. Uh, I'm super excited for Showcase. Um, I love Rey Mysterio. I love seeing Latinos out there, you know, doing the best. And I love especially seeing other uh, Chicanos out there doing the best. So I'm excited to see him and get a sense of his natural, mysterious charisma. Chris, how about you? Oh, it has been years since I've been able to play it. The return of my GM, that's the, that's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna load up as soon as I get it day one. It's got, that's gotta be where I'm at. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, Andrea. Uh, honestly, I'm just starting to bully my friends into getting their copies so that we can all get online <laughs> and I can trash talk them and show them how it's done. It's, it's just online play. How cool is that? So that wraps it up for Ringside Report episode three. Thank you to Dino Machino Zucconi from the Showcase team. And also thank you to Andrea, Chris, and Quatemo for joining us from My Rise. If you missed episodes one and two on all things gameplay and my GM, click the link below to check it out. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you all soon. And in the meantime, check us out on social media at WWE Games. Peace. Bye.